Hello everyone, today I came with an interesting topic. In this video I'll show you how to use Adaptive Card in Copilot Studio 2. Collect user feedback and I will accept that. Customer feedback and store it in a SharePoint online list. The demo will be very interesting. So let's get started. This is my sample demo copilot. The very first thing in this demo is that I need to create a custom topic. I already have created this topic and made this demo ready. I will show you how did I do that. This is the one I have created. This is the topic I have created. And what I did, I just went to add a topic from blank. Then just enter the name here. That's it. As already created my topic, I will show my demo with that. Here, I added the phrase adaptive card to trigger this topic. To add a new phrase, enter your phrase text and click on the add icon. Your phrases will be added here. Next, what I did was add an ask with adaptive card node. I clicked on this node. Then, added the ask with adaptive card node. Click on the properties. Then, you will see the out-of-the-box JSON for this card. You can design your custom adaptive card using the adaptive card designer tool. I'm not going there, as already I have my JSON ready. I'll just delete this since I'm not going to use it. I'm going to show what I did and how I did. This is the one I was talking about. I have designed this customer feedback card using the Adaptive Card Designer tool. I also considered that all fields should be required and customer email format is validated with email format validation. What I have used here is that you can find it in the blog post mentioned in the comment section. You can copy it from there. The next thing I must say. Once I entered the JSON. Automatically, these output variables will be created. So you can use these variables in the subsequent actions wherever you need. And for the debugging purpose, I added a message node to display these variables in the chat panel. Enter this this text that you have entered the below customer name, customer email, and customer feedback. I have selected the variables like customer name, email, and feedback description from the adaptive card output that I used above.
This configuration is quite simple. Just have a look at the screen to see what and how I am doing. That's how I did this configuration. Next topic is very interesting. I want to send these customer feedback details to the SharePoint online list to save there. This is my customer feedback list on the SharePoint online site. This already I have implemented. What you need to do is you want to create a fresh action. This already I have created so that I can see it here if you want to create your own version and display. Here and use that in your copilot. What you need to do is click on this create a flow link. You will be taken to Flow Designer Tool. This is the Flow Designer Tool. You will get this empty template. Nothing will be there. You need to configure what you need. I will explain my already created flow and how I made it. This is my Power Automate flow. I use this flow for this demo. So I created the three input variables of text type, input customer name input, customer email, then customer input feedback. Then the very next thing I did was add a create item in the SharePoint online list. I'll show how to add that. Search for create item in SharePoint online, you will get it. You'll get this create item action here and you need to add and configure it. You need to pass the site URL, list name, and other parameters. Just closing this here, and I will go to my already developed flow. As already I have done it. This is the create item action. This is my site here, and this is my list I selected from this drop down list. And these are the parameters. For the title column, I passed the customer name and selected it from the run of flow from Copilot trigger. Similarly, pass the customer email and feedback from the run of flow from Copilot trigger to the customer email and customer feedback column. This is what the configurations I did here. Additionally, I added a compose action here to construct a dynamic URL for the newly created item in the SharePoint list. I added some text like you can find your submitted feedback list item from here and adding the item URL to it. Once the user provides feedback, An item URL 
will be constructed here from the SharePoint customer feedback list. Then I just created another output text variable to return the dynamic item URL to Copilot. Then I saved this flow and tested it manually from this flow designer tool. Then once I found it was working perfectly, I published it. Once I published this flow, I can see that flow from my copilot topic action. After publishing, you can see your flow here in the list. Select it. The flow will be shown like this. So you need to pass all the parameters like customer name, customer email, and customer feedback. You will get these variables from this adaptive card output. You just need to select and pass the correct variable to the parameter like, this is the customer name, this is the customer email, this is the customer feedback description, Flow execution output will be stored in this variable, which will hold the item URL value. This is what I did, so I'll just delete this out as I have another working flow action. I'm not going to work with this, as already I have this, and I have configured and passed all the parameters. Like, customer name, customer email, and customer feedback. This is the output variable which will. Hold the item link from the SharePoint online customer feedback list. Then, I want to display this output item link into this chat panel. I just selected this, added a new message node, and passed the flow action output variable. That's it. Done with the configuration. Now I want to test this bot. I just type something like hi to trigger my custom topic. I type something related to adaptive card like, I want to test my adaptive card topic. Then I hit enter key or pressed on the go icon. Yes, I can see my adaptive card customer feedback form. I'll just enter customer name as. John and customer email as john at gmail.com. The validation is applied here. It has to be in the email format. Feedback as your customer service is very good. I see in the chatbot panel, whatever I entered in the feedback form, this feedback details I got from the message node. This is the message node. Then my Power Automate flow got called, sent the customer details to the SharePoint Online. Customer feedback list and return the item URL in edit mode.
I must say here, you may get this error while you are submitting if your connection is not properly established. Click on the connect button. This will take you to the manage connections page. If this is not a connected state, bring it to A to a connected state. Click on the connect or manage connection link. This will take you to create or fix the connection screen. Fix your connection, then submit it. Once it is in connected mode, then only you can test your copilot. This is what I did, and it is in connected mode, so it is working. Otherwise, you can't submit your data to SharePoint Online list. Just click on the connect button. Now if I click on this link, let's see what happens. The item I created using this adaptive card form will be opened in edit mode. This is title column mapped with the customer name. Then I can see the customer email and feedback from this list. Yes, I can see my customer feedback details added to my SharePoint online list. That's all. I hope you enjoyed and liked this demo, and it helped you. Please consider subscribing to my channel and help me to grow on this journey. I will come up with many interesting videos on Copilot, Generative AI, and the latest AI technologies. Till then, stay tuned. Thank you.